guys, Django here, and welcome to episode six of this modded Minecraft on the Django SMP. We're playing Valhelsia 5. I wanted to do this intro at night because this is just looking really cool around here. We've got a lot of things going on here in the SMP. Last time we did this burger joint, we have a few bottlenecks ingredients for these things. We have some farms around, but we need to get stuff here and we also need bread. So I think we'll make a bakery right next door to deliver bread into the burger shop. We'll automate a bunch of the uh, distribution of ingredients, so stick around. Right over here, I think we'll make our, I'll call it a bakery, be more simple than that. We're just gonna make bread. In fact, we're gonna make dough. Dough is really useful for other reasons as well. I mean, we need bread, and obviously we can make bread with three wheat, no extra work requi required, but we can also make bread from these different types of dough. Let's create dough, wheat dough from Farmer's Delight, which is three wheat, one bread per wheat is how that works out. We can also do this with create dough. Wheat flour comes from one wheat in a mill in a millstone. A few ways to get one bread from one wheat instead of it costing three. That's pretty expensive. Another cool thing that we get from dough, well, is slime balls. So we can make slime from dough. And maybe we'll make some slime balls in, in this factory as well. Finally, on a cutting board, we can get raw pasta. Since we're going to have restaurants nearby, I think we make a dough and pasta factory or a bread and raw pasta factory right here. I think that'll be useful for the other restaurants that we have going in in the area. Here. So what I've done since last time is added a few enhancements to our burger place. So we've got all these funnels on here, pulling in ingredients. I added carrots into the mix uh, because kangaroo burgers use carrots, but I haven't implemented that yet. But what's important here is that we've got this ender chest to pull inventory items in and a red one on the other end to get excess stuff out. So let's take a look at this, at these ender chests, see how this works. We've got these ender chests right here for now. Let's put them right here. If we color these things, uh, I, I think I have green, green, black, and red, red, black as my input and output chests. If we drop all of these things in here and then we go watch what happens, did they already just filter through here? I hear things going again, so that worked. So we just missed it. Yeah, it's empty. That was just super fast. It did one stack at a time, so that was why that was so fast. And any excess stuff would have ended up in this red one, which is on the other side. So what we'll do is expand that belt out this way, and this will be kind of the, the belt that feeds all these fronts and factories this with this belt that comes through here so we'll break this down connect more stuff out here and make start to make some dough let's just break this down right now break that later but if we could extend the belt out here all the way to be our new source for distributing the items into our shops we need a new shaft right there because we moved the shaft out let's put this right there there we go let's use a millstone right here with a chute on top. Top of that, we'll do. We'll use drawers this time. We just need to get this thing turning with a cogwheel. Here, shaft right here. Gearbox. Put a vertical gearbox here. Now we've got our mill turning. Another vertical gearbox here. Turn it this way. That is going in the wrong direction. So let's do this. This way, gearbox this way. Sometimes find, getting things to go in the right direction can be a little bit of a challenge. So let's put a, another cog here, vertical gearbox here. There we go. Now we've got things going in the right direction. And this is going to get our wheat, our, our flour out of here. Shaft here, here, and the belt. Here. So now we just need an encased fan blowing this way. We have an encased fan right here. Blowing some water. A bucket. Yes. And we need some. Let's see. Let's use pressure plates. Pressure plate here and here and water. Shorten this belt one. I think this will be okay. Water right here. Let's 
And then we just gotta get this turning. There's a belt. Coming in the right direction? It is. All right, so the wheat will come out of here. Well, the flour will come out of here, get washed into dough. And then we just need to put it in a, pull it out of here into a barrel with a funnel. We need an attribute filter to stop the uncooked dough from going in. So it can be smoked. No, cannot be smoked. Sit there, put this on here. All right, let's try it out. Let's put some wheat in here. We'll get milled. We need a funnel right here. It's getting pulled straight in here. What is going on? Oh, it's not gonna be smoked, it's gonna be washed. So we need flour and be washed. Cannot be washed. It's pulled in. Now flour sits there, gets washed, and as soon as it turns into dough, it goes in as dough. And good, it stops right here. It doesn't jump off the end of the belt. So that is good. And there we go, we've got some dough. Let's drop this wheat flour down here. And the seeds will also accumulate in here and we can deal with those later. Okay, so next we want to pull the dough out of here and cook it. And for that, we need a smoker. So we need another encased fan, campfire. Put this encased fan right here. Campfire here. Get this spinning. And we'll put a depot right there. And this should allow us to cook. We've got some music happening over here. This is what happens when we're recording on an SMP. You never know what's going to happen. Let's turn that off. There we go. Okay, we need another funnel. Let's grab a lever and this lever on top of here just to prevent the stuff from dumping out until we filter it. So what we need is a can be smoked attribute filter. We need dough on here. I mean, we can just pull the dough out, I suppose. There we go, and that'll all get turned into bread. All right, and now we've got bread, which we can drop into here, which will go into our burger factory. You can hear this going, it's starting to make burgers because bread was the, the missing ingredient there. All right, perfect. So, so here we have right now a factory that turns all of our bread, in, sorry, all of our wheat into bread. But that's not what we want to do. We want to make some dough that's going to be used for pasta and for slime balls. So we need to split the dough off, turn maybe half of it into bread and put the other half make it available for uh, pasta and slime. All right, so we need to tear this all apart because Again, we're going to be processing the dough in three different ways. And I think we can make this a little more compact. And one of the challenges here is I'm trying to do all this in a little tight space, which is which is kind of fun. You can just spread create machines out really far and things get easy, but it's a little bit of a challenge to tuck it all together. Uh, we need to do three things with this. So one is the smoker. Uh, another one is this slicer. And another thing is this mixer. So we need a basin for the mixer. The slicer can work on top of a basin or a belt. And because things are so tight and we want to split this dough out three ways, we could do something with belts and, and tunnels, which brass tunnels will split um, kind of round robin things down across different belts. But I think we'll be better off using mechanical arms. I think we're going to like butt this building up right against this one so we can remove, remove these things. And then once stuff is processed, we're gonna put some out here as a storefront. So we'll put some slime and some raw pasta and bread out here so people can just come and grab them if they want. And then the rest of it will send up onto this belt, which sends thing sends them down. You know, the bread will get picked up next door. And the other things will get sent to, you know, kind of some central storage that we have not implemented yet. So let's break these, let's break all this stuff. So let's do that. Save a little space, but otherwise I think we can keep this washing station almost in the same spot. I think we can put water right here. We'll move this one closer. I put the water back down right here. And yeah, the water won't fall down onto that belt and it's blocked by this belt, this brass uh, funnel. So 
this is good. It's a little tighter. And to get things keep things compact, let's put the let's put this depot around the corner and drop this drop the dough right here. That'll be nice and compact. And this is still can be smoked. So that'll drop the dough out, but the seeds won't come out of there. I think that would be good. So now we need some mechanical arm. We need a mechanical arm to pull the stuff off of here and put it into the three places that we're going to be working with. And then we need the output of the different things to be picked up by other mechanical arms. So ooh, let's just let's just start to put this thing together. So if we put some bricks up here and let's see, we'll put the basin, put a basin right here and we'll put a depot right here. I think we can slice on top of a depot and another depot for campfire. Let's put this depot over here and we can connect the two fans together like we had them before. So the smoking will happen. Kind of just feeling this out as I go. This will, this will come together. So we put the case fan right here and we need a new campfire. You know what? Let's put it here. It's a little more compact. And this basin can go right here. Now we can do this with cog wheels because cog wheels feel better than belts to me. And those will be going the same direction, which is what we want. And we can put a gearbox right here. I'm not sure we can run a shaft over a pressure plate, but the shaft will stop the water, I think. Yeah, I can't. No, the shaft stops the water. Perfect. And all right, let's put the cogwheel here and see what happens. This needs to be a vertical gear shaft and another vertical gear shaft here. Oh, everything is spinning and it's going the wrong direction. So we need one more. Everything is still spinning. This looks much nicer than that looked before. We just need one more gearbox to change the direction. All right, the fans are blowing in the right direction. Now we can surround all this stuff with and andesite casing, make that look nice and neat. All right, so now we need a mechanical arm. And we just want to tell the mechanical arm to take stuff from here, take items from there, place it there, and clicking twice to place it here, and twice, twice. So blue from there, yellow in those three locations and we can put it right there. Now this arm takes from one place and puts it into the three different locations. Perfect. And I think the mixer we can put right here. And the slicer right here. And I'm pretty sure a slicer will work. We need a knife. And we just have to get these things spinning, which should be Pretty easy. This right here, some new cogwheels and some new gearboxes. Just come out like this. So we can put cogwheel there. Need our wrench back. And a vertical gearbox right here. One more cog. We're overstressed. All right, we're gonna have to head down and put down another water wheel. So get a big, large water wheel. Let's head down into the sewer. We've got water wheels powered by sewage. Put one on this side. I think we can just break this and get some more of this sewage flowing to power a third water wheel. Clear blocks for placement. Oh, got some. Is that in the way? There we go. Okay, now we have 1500 stress units instead of 1000. That should get us going again. Yes. All right. All right, let's put some wheat in there. Got a stack of wheat. Let's watch it work. Ah, ah, ah. That's dangerous. Okay, that wheat's going to get washed and turn into, well, ground into flour, get washed and turned into dough. Do we have flour coming out of here? Why not? What's going on? Oh, that belt is going the wrong way now. Put a shaft here. Does this work? There we go. Now it's going the right direction. Good grief. There. 
We did it. And now the flour is getting cooked, washed on the belt, turning into dough. And the dough, as soon as it is washed, should come out onto this belt right here. Here it comes. It's putting it all right here. That's going to get washed. I mean, smoked into bread. And then the next stack of flour will get put in one of these other, either the basin. Here it comes. There we go. And this is spinning in the wrong direction. So then what we're going to do with this is move it over one. So we can get an extra cogwheel in here. And the slicer is right here. The knife. Now let's see if the we can it will slice the dough. Yes, it does. All right, now this guy is going to need to be reconfigured. So it's going to take from here. Place here, place here, place here. Put that back right here. Oh, for this mixer to work, we need green dye to go in there. And I'm going to do that manually. The hopper, this, and we'll put a barrel right here. That's going to be our green dye barrel because the slime ball recipe in a mixer is dough and lime dye. So if we just fill this thing up with lime dye, and we'll just have a little for now. And any dough that goes in there will get mixed up into slime ball. So now we've got pasta on this depot. We're going to have slime in there and we'll have bread here. Okay, now that we've got all of the all the production stuff, we need another mechanical arm that's going to pull the things out of these three places and put them in two in two places. One, we need to put stuff on the belt, and this is going to run. Ah. I also need to block that off. Let's put that right there. That'll be a little safer. So we're gonna move this chest down here. Let's just do that right now. Did I even get it or did it go down the belt? Okay, well, those should end up in this red chest right here there we go good which is the overflow chest that's our represents our like central storage and if i put it here this will allow us to just kind of move this process down a bit i guess i'm kind of jumping over to doing this part and we just want wheat to go in there there we go if i put wheat in there that'll fill that up and that'll kick things off and i just don't want to do that yet let's also just kind of build out the structure here a little bit i want this building front to be staggered in a little bit. I think we've got kind of room to do that with. I'll put a countertop. It's a little tight. Let's do this. Let's put a two by two. Oh, that's twilight oak. Oak drawers. There we go. Now we'll just put this stuff into a two by two drawer, just like this. So some of this, here's what's going to come out of here. Pasta, slime balls. Bread. And we'll put this right on here. We need an item filter, a list filter. And on this list filter, we'll put slime balls, pasta, raw pasta, and bread. Okay, and now if we take a mechanical arm and click here, which is going to take items from there, which, gonna, which is going to be bread. And here's going to be slime, and here's going to be raw spaghetti and these need to be yellow oh no we're taking 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 that's blue and depositing that's yellow and now we put this guy right here we missed we missed something we also want him to put stuff in the belt so we're going to do this again so taking from here here and here and placing here we're also going to place stuff in the belt just like right there Hopefully it can reach. Let's see. It can reach. So now if we put some wheat into our system over here, it's going to make all the things, put half of them in that box and half of them on the belt, which will end up in central storage or the bread will get filtered into our burger joint. So let's put a stack of wheat and watch it happen. <laughs> we need one more funnel. No, 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 no. What happened? This is facing the wrong way. Okay, that's fine. That's going to end up in our central storage. 
It should be right here. It is. Okay. One more try. Oh. There it goes. Get sucked in here. Pulled out. Going through the mill right now, turning into flour. And here it comes. Flour is getting turned into dough with the washer, which is ending up out here. Here they go. That's going to turn into slime because that already has some lime dye in it. Oh, we can't just put stuff directly in the belt. See what's happening? It's unfiltered. So it's just taking anything it can, putting it on the belt. So what we need is a barrel. This is easy to fix. Just put a barrel right here with a funnel on it. So funnel. And this needs to be filtered the same as that item filter. And that list filter has lime, red, and raw pasta. Check. There. Now we need one more funnel. We need one more funnel right here. That's just going to pull everything out. Question is, can stuff get through there or will it get stuck in that funnel? Yep, it does go through. All right. So I just threw a shaft on here. So that should be in here. There it is. Got a little bit of dough. You can put that back into the into the mix. Okay, so now we're gonna do it again. This guy is gonna pull stuff off of here, 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 and put it in here and here. Now it should only pull the filtered items out of these outputs. Put them up here. Taking pasta, putting it on the belt, sending it to central storage. Good. And now this pasta, because it's round robin, it's going to put it in here. All right. It's putting some bread on the belt. Some pasta in here. Perfect. All right. So we'll put the door to our bakery here. So this is just, this is all working. What's left here is that we just need to set this up with some threshold settings. I think we'll do that next time. Where we use um, a threshold switch with some redstone links to uh, request whatever it needs. So to request, in this case, wheat, if it's low on wheat. If it's got enough wheat, we'll put a link here that shuts off this funnel so we don't overload the system with resources. We need to do the same thing on these as well. Let's let's finish off this building. Okay, we'll use this spell book with a replace spell and replace some of this clinker bricks. Let's just give it a different look. Red sign right up here. Here we go. Our bakery or Riverview Avenue Bakery. Also light up this corner right here. All right, I think that's gonna do it guys. We've created our dough factory and made bread, pasta and slime balls. Pretty cool. Riverview Avenue storefronts are growing. Put a restaurant down here next maybe. Maybe something we could use this pasta for. That would be pretty cool. Uh, we'll also get this central storage set up, these green and red chests, which represent uh, the central storage. We'll get that going, I think, too, with some, again, with some threshold switches and uh, redstone links to, for any of these shops to 
just kind of put in a request for something and it'll just it'll get delivered. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Keep up with this series. If you're interested in playing on this SMP, you can just become a supporter. There's details, links to the Discord in the description. Come check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. I appreciate you.